So is the Apple iPhone 5 really, a, really worth the upgrade? Now you've probably seen those videos on Apple's website with the white background and the, the dude with the v-neck shirt. Well I'm going to get a little bit casual too when I do this video. I'm going to roll up my sleeves and I'm going to tell you the truth about the iPhone 5. Now the iPhone 5 is great. Now is it great enough to spend more than a couple hundred bucks on? In my personal opinion it's not. Uh, what I would recommend doing, and I did get an iPhone 5, but with AT&T I think it's every two years you're entitled to a discounted rate. So I got the basic iPhone 5, 16 gig. It was about $199 in tax on top of that. So, you know, it was doable. I needed a new phone anyway uh, because the power button on my iPhone 4 was broken and I had water in my iPhone 4 because I dropped it in the lake. Now, if you don't, if you don't have an urgent need to get a new iPhone, uh, that being you're not up for the special rate through AT&T or whomever you're with, or maybe you're current phone, your 4, your 4S, whatever it may be, uh, maybe it's in perfect working order. You're going to get with the iPhone 5 a longer screen. So basically, and let me grab my iPhone 5, I'm going to get it right here. So basically what you get, basically what you get with the iPhone 5 is about a pinky's with uh, longer. And what you're going to notice, the only visual thing you'll notice on your iPhone 5 is that on the iPhone 4 you had four rows of applications on one page. On the iPhone 5 because of its extra length you've got five rows of applications. With the iPhone 5 you do get Siri. Now Siri is that lady, she's like, you talk to her, she's like, that's a Siri, blah 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 blah. Is that really a sales perp? I mean, it's all right. It's it's sometimes accurate. It works pretty well. Uh, now, if you have an iPhone 4, even with iOS 6 upgrade, you don't have Siri. If you have an iPhone 4S, of course you do. If you have an iPad, not a phone, but the iPad third generation, and you get iOS 6, you get Siri. So there are some things. I mean, aside from the extended uh, height, of the iPhone 5. It is thinner. Thinner device. Uh, they did move the headphone jack to the bottom of the device. They do have a new adapter. Now this is something here if you've got a lot of accessories for your iPhone 4, 4S, maybe even an earlier iPhone, that old connector, that little white connector that connects to the USB cable that was kind of wide, now it's uh, very narrow. And they call this, and check out my other videos, called the Apple Lightning Connector. So that's different. If you've got like a speaker dock and stuff like that, you may want to take those things into consideration because your iPhone 5 is a different form factor. But I would assume that this would be the form factor that Apple will likely use going forward. And I would expect to see it on iPad 4 and, uh, and the other iOS devices. Because the advantage to it is that you can stick it in upside down or whatever Whereas with the current model, it can only go in one direction. If you flipped it over, it wouldn't go in. The iPhone 5 does have a sapphire crystal over the camera lens, which is really nice. Uh, that's very scratch resistant. If you're familiar with uh, Swiss watches, sapphire crystal. That's, that's the same, uh, same uh, type of uh, glass. I don't know if it's called glass, but it's crystal. Very uh, scratch resistant. And then you get, uh, it's a faster processor, and it's got, a, it, it's got a few things here and there. I mean, nothing, nothing that I would deem revolutionary, but if, you're, if you've had your current phone for over two years and you can pick one of these up for around $199 bucks or whatever, I personally wouldn't get the big storage option because I, I never used, I mean, 16 gigs for me is plenty, but I don't put a lot of stuff on it. One thing you might also consider too, and this is what I did, Gazelle, G-A-Z-E-L-L-E.com, they'll buy your old iPods or iPhones. So like I sent mine in and I'm expected to get around 140 bucks for it. So will I get a full 140? I don't know, but if I did, then that means out of pocket, since I got rid of my iPhone 4, out of pocket for iPhone 5 
I was around 50 bucks or so. So no matter how you look at it, you know, in conclusion here, I would say only get an iPhone 5 if you're going to get it because you've been with your current phone for over two years, whatever it is, to entitle you to special pricing. Would I spend more than $200 for an iPhone 5 before tax? Um, no. No, I wouldn't. But would I go back to an older model iPhone after using the iPhone 5? No, I wouldn't. And that's not because the iPhone 5 is super revolutionary, but it is improved. And just the small things like the, you know, the thinner profile, the new connector, the, uh, I don't know, I mean, just the overall, you know, feel of the phone. I mean, it's, it's nice. I, I you know, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm glad I did it. But there you go. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Feel free to check out my other videos, too. And subscribe to my channel. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Y'all have a good day. And share this video.